And we're back, live, on the ice. Yeah. I brought my smoking gun in over here, Susie Kenner, the director of tourism for Devil's Lake. Last time we fished together, can you tell the camera what happened? I caught a 28-inch walleye. Pretty excited about that. Uh, Pooh Bear here, Pooh's Taxidermy, is mounting it for me because it's the biggest fish that I've personally caught. So, yeah. So, we'll see what we can do today. Um, have been sitting here for a little while, but haven't really marked anything hey, yet. Hey, we're going we're gonna to fight through it. Um, so, how long have you been with tourism now? Well, this summer will be 10 years, if you can believe that. Yeah, pretty excited. It's been a really fun gig. I'm excited to work with you for about, what, five years yeah, now, Yeah, it's been about five. So, It'll be five yeah. in May. Yeah, really excited. I'm a North Dakota native, but been here in Devil's Lake for the past 10 years, and it's really gotten me into the outdoor industry and the outdoor world. And It's kind of a world happier. that's uh, unique in its own. Exactly. Uh, who is here? Yeah, I may have made a special call a little bit ago. I mean, I know Boomer and I were really hungry. I don't know about you. I'm starving, so I was really? looking for a Did pizza delivery. You got us pizza? I may have got some pizza. Oh my gosh. Possibly. Who did you call? That pizza. Oh, I can smell it from here. Oh my gosh, it's Dr. Darling. You guys order pizza? We Is that the call did college order pizza. president? Holy cow. Dr. Darling here is the president of uh, Lake Region State College. If you want to grab that. that is amazing. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> what are you up to today? Well, I've been uh, working hard and every once in a while checking in on you guys online. Nice. You got any tips for me? Any any secret weapons that I need to know about? For... Stop, stop missing. I wasn't the one missing. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was Boomer. But, you know... This is a lifesaver right here. It is a lifesaver. We appreciate it. No problem. Glad so we can help. We had Johnny on here earlier, and he was um, telling me, I don't know if it was on camera or not, but he was saying Lake Region State College has um, classes that gets you out on the ice fishing and also open water. Yes, we, we do a, We do a introduction to fishing class in the, in the fall where they do open water fishing, and then we do an ice fishing class in the spring semester, and they get to spend the full day out on the ice. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they learn about all the electronics and lures and portable houses and okay. then they, Johnny and uh, some of the anglers and sometimes another guy, they'll take them out and they spend a full day on the ice and then they go in and clean them up and have a nice supper out of the fish that they catch. So oh, kind of cool. sounds like a class I wish I would have taken. Yeah, totally me too. And that that's something really cool for the young people that are watching that are still looking for colleges and stuff. I went to Lake Region State College for my first year, got my generals done and I don't think there's a lot of places where you can go get your classes, get general credits, and then go do this after class in the afternoon or in the morning, or I may have skipped a few classes in there to <laughs> get that right bite. I mean, I can say that now, yes, but uh -huh. uh, it's truly an awesome college to go to and get your credits done and get your associate degree. Or You've got some pretty unique programs there too now. We do, and we've got you know some unique programs in like our wind energy technician program and our simulator maintenance tech program where they repair and maintain flight simulators. You know, and our students literally 10 minutes after class is out can be fishing. Uh, that is like the That's perfect world cool. to me. You know, or less than that, even, you know, in the fall, they're out duck hunting. It's, you know, before class in the morning, and as soon as they're done with class, they go out and shoot some ducks and hopefully do their homework after that. <laughs> Pull in with the <laughs> decoy trailer, full camo. Yeah, we, we, our parking lot has decoy trailers and boats in it, depending on the season. So. Yep. Nice. No, it's truly, for those looking for something, I would highly recommend Lake Region. It's a, it's a wonderful college and... Yep. Great opportunity well, to experience these kind of passions at the same time. And I can attest to the fact that you do the same thing because many times I'm driving home from work at 515, 520, and you're pulling out of your driveway in your Ranger with your dog yeah. heading out on the ice. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty lucky to live here. About a whole 60 seconds for me to hit the ice from the house. So, nice. Works well. We kind of do live in paradise, up here, we don't do we? Live in we do. It's a, it's a sportsman's paradise, and, and for a young person that loves the outdoors, you know, get your education and, and have a heck of a good time while you're doing it. And then when the college president brings you pizza on the ice, I mean... <laughs> we must be pretty special. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Very cool. And we do have... I need to go sneak over to this ranger over here, because we have a kind of a giveaway we want to do again here at lunchtime, now that we're going to... Awesome. Still fish, but... Well, know, you put food on in front of me, I'm going to eat. While you're doing that, why don't I talk a little bit about um, some of the different things that uh, Devil's Lake has to offer, especially in the winter time. You know, we've got a couple different areas um, that offer cross-country ski trails. We launched out of Grams Island State Park this morning and they groom trails out here. All you need to do to get on is just buy a park pass. And if you buy the yearly pass, you can come out um, whenever you want, summertime, wintertime. 
Um, they also started grooming trails last year at Creel Bay Golf Course, about a mile, mile and a half trail I think they have there. Um, another great place right along the lake. And uh, if you are in the National Guard, you can come on out to um, Camp Grafton, also on the shores of Devil's Lake, and you can use their um, trails as well. Um, all you have to be is a member of the National Guard and you can get on there. And if you're not familiar with Camp Grafton, it's a regional training institute um, that's right on the shores of Devil's Lake and it's one of the largest in the U.S. And we pull soldiers from all over and i um, happy to have them and, and get them out, out and about in town. You got it? I do. So I'm just going to sneak right by the camera here. This is a unique little Devil's Lake mug. You know, the Yeti mugs like that are the, kind of the craze. Stream Science put those together they did. for us, didn't they? And that one says, I'd rather be ice fishing, which is me to a T. So we are going to give this away to the first person. We want to see who's been following along all day. So the first person Ooh. that can comment on our live feed about who let us use this ranger to get out here in the snow today wins this awesome Devil's Lake mug. So the first person that can tell us who lent us the ranger out here wins this mug. I'm just going to kind of wonder who's going to be paying set attention. Set it right there for now. Get this pizza back in the lap. We could probably talk about some of the yeah. different meal options that we have. I don't know if you touched on that yet. No, I haven't. Where'd so, the pizza come? Pros, right? This came from We Pro's. have a winner. Oh. We have a winner. His name's Tim. He said Kyle. He is correct. Right. Kyle at Wooden Resort Wooden was Resort. the one that lent us the ranger. So I'm going to put that right back down there and we will make sure Tim to message us and we'll get you taken care of and have you uh, with that cool little mug. Perfect. But yes. Yep. Pros, we... pros end of the line downtown brought us the pizza today. I know, can't wait to see that. Yeah. It smells so good. Um, but... They also have the Cove, which is out at Woodland Resort, which is also a really nice, nice um, place to go to. And the ranch is a steakhouse that we have in town, and it's been voted the number one steakhouse in the state of North Dakota. So it's a for sure stop once you come um, to, take, to check that out. Besides steak, they have great pastas. Um, they offer a sushi roll of the day, which is always my favorite, and you got to get the popovers for, dessert, for an appetizer. They're to die for. They are. Kind of bummed here, Tanner. I'm not marking a fish. I, hey, it's fishing. I know, right? Even if we're marking a fish, there's no guarantee that we're going to catch that fish. Yeah. I mean, you don't always go out and hammer them every day. Nope, you're Because right. if, what would the fun be that be? I mean, sometimes you got to work for them, and we're, we're having to work I'm for working. them, but I'm we're making it ha enjoyable. We're having fun. We are having um, It's a great day. Speaking of food, I know we get a, a lot of our visitors come from Minnesota, Wisconsin, and I know a lot of the Minnesota folks love their Zorbas. I mean, pizza. Right. And, like, Who doesn't Zorba love experience. Zorbas? We kind of yeah. have our own Zorbas here. We do. Uh, Woodland Resort and the Cove and of course Bobbers, especially in the summertime they have converted an ice house into a little bar right along the shores. Always great to boat up with the family or friends, um, hop on out for a little while, maybe take a restroom break, grab a, a beverage or um, a lot of times they'll grill burgers right yep. there. I think it's five dollar burgers that you can grab and they have live music on the weekends and rock fest coming up in August again. I believe it's the third weekend of third or Second or third weekend of August, they always do that. Um, three days worth of concerts, two or three days worth of concerts, right along the, right along the lake. So that's always a great time too. Absolutely, and then for families that come up, we have a lot of different things, especially in the summertime too, that to get people out. Whether it's hiking, um, we yeah. have a nice little downtown that's got some unique shops. So yeah. the guys head out in the lake, and if the women wanted to go do something else, they got some exploring to do. Yeah, you can't forget about Sully's Hill either. Ooh, that's kind of my favorite. Yeah. Not a lot of people that don't know about Sully's Hill. It's a unique national game preserve that's 15 miles out of Devil's Lake. I think so, yeah. It's got a herd of bison, a herd of elk. It's kind of like a national... It used to be a national park back in the early 1900s. And then, I believe it was when Theodore Roosevelt came in is when he yeah. deemed it a national park. And not only it was for a few years, and now it's just a game preserve. But yeah. really cool to be able to see those unique animals that are yeah. native to North Dakota. Hiking trail in there that you can um, take part on. Um, great places for photography out there yeah. as well. And then you can't forget the steps. Um, I never um, keep track of how many there are, but I think it's 200 and some. It's that should enough. be a trivia question. Oh, how many steps? That could be for our next giveaway. Oh. Because we still got a few more giveaways. We do have some more giveaways. But speaking of photography, I, I, I'm kind of looking over in that corner there, and I see our visitor guide. We've got yeah. some pretty cool photos in there. We uh, do have some Blue cool 42 photos in here. Josh Shave at Blue 42. There's been some amazing photography, and this is one of our prime jewels right here is our visitor guide. We get a lot of people that love this. It's got all the information from resorts, hotels, yep. campgrounds, restaurants. It's a flip it's, book. I'm going to pull up something here. It's 
got a list of all yeah, these guys. Yeah, you pull that up. I'm going to keep fishing. And usually, for those of you that go to sports shows, I'm better at doing it upside down than I am actually <laughs> so like looking I. at it. Especially reading a lake map. And so, I'm going to pull up this side. It's got all the fishing regulations for North Dakota. Um, of course, the pictures. And this right here is one of the most usable features in here. It's all our guide yeah. services. Like me and Johnny were talking about, you know, trying to, if, especially if it's your first trip up here, utilizing guides is an awesome tool to just make your trip up oh, much more definitely. enjoyable. So you can go online at our Devil's Lake ND website. Mm. You can get one of these on a digital version. Or you can call our office um, or email us. And we put together these packets yep. every other day, mail them out to you so you free actually charge. have this physically in hand for free. Yep. We're kind of unique in one of those ways where we don't charge anything for this. No. And what's really nice is once you get those in the mail, um, if you have any questions or um, want to figure out your family vacation or your trip with your buddies, just give us a call. The 1-800 number is right on the cover. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, sometimes it can be really overwhelming. Um, all, like you said, all the guide services are listed in there. Um, we don't put in the, any of the pricing or anything in there. They're all roughly probably about the same yep. you know um as guides go and but it can be overwhelming on which ones you want to pick once you start going through all the the websites and such and, and there's some really cool experiences out there like you can do portable fishing like we're doing today there's snow bears the snow bear craze is yep. crazy especially when you have those days of 40 below and you can just sit inside there and not have to get on the elements exactly. and still fish and then we, there's some guys we need one of those for devil's like tourism by the way I mean, do you think we could swing that maybe Oof. <laughs> and another cool thing about our website and our Facebook page, which obviously you guys are on right now, we do our weekly fishing report on there. And we've kind of taken that to a different level the last year. Yeah. And we're doing video reports awesome. to kind of keep people in tune with the bite, tactics, areas to try, so you're not left in the dark when you're coming out here to experience the lake. Yep, exactly. So I'm, I don't know about you, but since there isn't a fish on here right now, I'm kind of hungry. So, so am I. It's been a long, a long morning, and, you know, we need to fuel up to For make sure that... Uh, we can get some awesome fishing done yet this afternoon. Because, Joe, I have one big fish in me yet today. It didn't come this morning, but it's going to come before 4. So pizza time, and then we're hitting it hard. Sounds good. Let's do it.